In this tutorial, we will create a seamless rotating zoom transition in Adobe After Effects. As you can see, I've got two videos sitting on my timeline. So let's go ahead and make the transition. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, then go to Effects and Presets window, search for Transform, and add it to the Adjustment Layer. Then in Effect Controls, uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle, and set Shutter Angle to 180 or 360. This will generate motion blur on the transition, so the higher value you set, the more motion blur you'll get. I'm going to set this to 360. Let's go to the point between the videos and move 10 frames to the left, just like so. Then create keyframes for scale and rotation. Press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Move back to the point of the cut between the videos. Set scale to 500 and rotation to minus 45 degrees. Then bring in the endpoints of the adjustment layer, align them with the keyframes. So pretty much just trim down the adjustment layer to this size. Then make sure it is selected, go to Edit, Duplicate, or press Ctrl-D as a shortcut. Then move the second adjustment layer forward in time. And we're going to extend the second adjustment layer by 5 frames. So move to the end of the second adjustment layer, then move 5 frames forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bring in the end point to the blue playhead, and press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. And move the end keyframes to the end of the adjustment layer. So now the first adjustment layer is zooming into the video so we need the second adjustment layer to continue this motion so let's go to the second adjustment list start keyframes and set scale to 50 then rotation to 45 degrees and then let's go to the end keyframes of the second adjustment layer set scale back to 100 and rotation to zero degrees okay that's what we get now let's drag and select all the keyframes press f9 then go to the graph editor here, then right click, make sure in edit speed graph. Then let's uh, click here to deselect everything. We're going to start with the first adjustment layer. So hold control and select the scale and rotation. Then select the first point and drag this handle to the right all the way. Then select the second point and drag the handle also all the way to the right. So make the graph lean to the right. Now let's select the second adjustment layer scale and then hold control and select the rotation as well. Going to select the first point, drag its handle all the way to the left and then select the second point, also drag it all the way to the left. So make it lean to the left. Okay, because we need to accumulate all the motion at the point of the cut. Let's exit the graph editor and let's do a quick preview. So that looks really good, but now we have all this black space that we obviously do not want to see. So to fix that, we need to add a motion tile. So search for motion tile in effects and presets. Add it to the second adjustment layer. Make sure it is above the transform, so otherwise it will not work. Then check mirror edges. Increase the output width to maybe 200 and output height to like 300. And now you can see those black borders are gone okay and we can go ahead and make the full preview of the transition it might be a bit slow so let's do it again so that looks pretty good and this is the old transition really really cool seamless rotating zoom transition all done with our plugins really easy really simple so i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial let me know what do you think thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out